Okay, here we are again, here on the farm, here on the homestead, whatever you want to call it. Having troubles with my John Deere D160. Went out, I've used it like three times this year. And each time I had to jump it off, which is, uh, you know, uh, I, I expected that. But after I jumped it off with my little DeWalt jump box, it ran fine. Uh, last summer I had jumped off a few times, but after summer got involved, it was, you know, cranking on its own. So uh, we used to, I went out, had company coming in, had to get the yard cleaned up. And uh, I had to jump it off, no big deal. I drove it from the equipment barn all the way down here to the backyard, and stopped it over there at the shed, put some gas in it, got on it, engaged the mower, blades, nothing, not a thing. Dead or in four o'clock. And I thought, great. So I tinker around with it, trying to get something to work. Nothing would work as far as the mowing deck. So I had to go get the little 22 inch wide snapper push mower and mow the front yard, which absolutely sucked. So then uh, Thursday, well of course Wednesday night, I get on YouTube and says, you know, it's either the safety switch in the seat, safety switch on the brake, or the electronic clutch. So I get out Thursday evening after I get in from work and I start checking stuff and I have this little uh, test light that I made years ago. It's a redneck testing apparatus. You know, when I was in school, you know what they use those for. Yeah. And uh, I went through all my uh, wiring and all my uh, safety switches appear to be working properly. I was getting power to my electronic PTO, but it would not engage. So I was trying to get it cranked, so I set my little jump box up to it, and I had to make a phone call to my cousin that was visiting. We probably talked for five, maybe ten minutes. And so I cranked it up, and I started moving away, and I thought, well, heck, I'll just try it. So I pulled my, my PTO engagement apparatus here. it worked I made one round and it was getting kind of dark so I turned my headlights on as soon as I turned my headlights on the whole machine just died and I thought you son of a gun you so uh, by that time you know it's dark so I got it back to the backyard and just left it so I called my buddy Jason Lanyon he's pretty pretty up to snuff on this kind of stuff talking to him and I said you know I'm thinking I have a um, uh, electrical issue, a battery issue. He said, well, is your battery any good? I said, well, I've had to jump it off. I said, but it is the original battery in it. He said, well, how long you had it? I said, I bought it in September 2017. He said, you mean to tell me you got a lawnmower with a six-year-old battery in it? I said, yep, sure do. He said, well, I think the first thing I'd do is change out that battery before I tried changing out that electronic PTO. So I did. Follow me. People, that is an $85. You are not looking at the battery, honey. Battery's right here. $85 battery for a lawnmower. So I'm thinking, oh, hot dog, I won't have to jump my lawnmower off no more. So I put that battery in there and I climbed up on the old greeny here. And listen, same thing. Click, 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 click. I'm thinking, you saw our dog, you. So then, I had already talked to Paul Whitley earlier, and that's Jason's father-in-law. He told me, he said, you know, it could be starter solenoid. And the starter solenoid goes out, it'll do stuff like that. So he said, get you a little jump wire. So I did. Here's a jump wire. And... Take that jump wire, come over on this side, babe doll. These folks have got to see what to do. They may not know what a starter solenoid is. Do you know what a starter solenoid is? This is a starter solenoid right here. He said, when you turn your key on, just take that jump wire. And look at it. 
You know why it won't crank now? Because I don't got a brake thumb. Put that brake on, lock it. See, all my safety switches were working. Woohoo, baby! Ta da! And then watch this. So that was the problem, people. It wasn't no switch, it was an old battery, and the lights was just enough amps pulled on that battery for me to realize that. So if you got a lawnmower that's giving you problems and won't crank, crank, even after putting a new battery in there, check this with your uh, starter solenoid. Uh, starter solenoid at Lowe's for these things, 18 bucks. And that's next on the list of things to check. I mean change, not check. Honey, stop, you're gonna fall. There's a ditch behind you, okay? That would off, be awful on our YouTube video. So anyhow, that's what happens when your lawnmower will not crank and when your PTO will not kick, check, kick in, two things to check. So this is a machinery Saturday. Just thought I'd drop this little video about how to check things out. And like I said, this right here, you just put it, anything you want to check, boom, boom, that'll light up, it's got juice. I can even show you. Nikola Tesla would be so proud of me. I wonder if this battery's any good. Let's see, I put that there. Nope, that won't stay there. Put that there. And look, see, that's all there is to it. Well, well, what if you got it hooked up backwards? I don't know, let's see. I put that one over there. It still works. See, there's there's no good and bad thing on it. And this is just a light bulb for a car, tail light bulb. So there you have it. If you like this video, hit like. Found it informative or interesting, subscribe share it with whoever you want to jeff eubanks it's bright out here and i got hat hair bye-bye